All right, so um, this is the second part of reciprocal of functions, of function, of a function. That does not make sense. Reciprocal of a function, so we'll take that off as well, okay? So we're, it's the same exercise, but we're just going to go a bit further than what we did last time. So let's have a look at it. Um, so those are the ones that we did all right, so we're going to consider these graphs, okay? So we want to look at this and find its roots and axis of symmetry. So with this one, we actually are playing magic numbers. And we're playing magic numbers with minus 10, okay? And the reason for that is that it's a non-monic, so it's got a negative, and we have to multiply it by the 10, and we get minus 10, okay? And also, because it's a non-monic, we have to split the middle term. Okay, so what factors of minus 10 add up to give us negative 3? So what factors of minus 10 add up to give us? If you said minus 5 and 2, you'd be right. So let's do it. Minus x squared minus 5x plus 2x plus 10. Okay. Now we partially factorise, okay? So we should be good at this. So minus 5 and 5, let's go minus x, so equals, equals, x plus 5 because of the minus there, two negatives become a plus. Sorry for screaming that out, that was a mistake of mine. Let's keep going. Plus 2 x plus 5, that's really good. So now we've got 2 minus x and then x plus 5, okay? Now to find its roots, we need to go let f of x equals 0. So we're going to go um, 0 equals 2 minus x um, and x plus 5, therefore x equals minus 5 and 2. Now, there's another part to it. It says also find the axis of symmetry. We talked about this in class. Um, you can decide what you want to do. Some people are using x equals minus b over 2a to find it. I just find it easier to do the average of the roots. So... Minus 5 plus 2 is minus 3. Half of that is negative 1.2. So axis of symmetry is at x equals minus 1.5. Okay? So I can draw this. I know it's an uh, upside-down parabola, and that's because it's a negative here. I know that the x-intercepts are negative 5 and 2, and I know that it is an axis of symmetry at negative 1.5. I'm not going to draw it. I'm going to let Desmos do it, just because it's going to be a bit nicer, and we're going to have a look at a couple of things. Okay. So there it is there. Okay. There we go. Okay, so there it is there. So we can see that here it has a maxima at minus 1.5, which is really good because that's what we wanted here, minus 1.5. We know that the roots are 2 and negative 5, so that's really, really good. We can see that pop up. Okay, now all this information is going to help us draw the next one. Okay, so it says now draw um, 1 over f of x. Now I know that I can't have a zero in the denominator. And it just happens to be that the minus 5 and 2 are the places when f of x actually equals zero. Okay? So if I put that in the denominator in here, the cookie monster is going to be up upset and it's going to give us... Um, it's going to give us... Um, asymptotes. So instead of me drawing it, I just want you to look at the graph, what it looks like on Desmos. So I've got a, you can already see that I've got the same 
function um, in Desmos, and I'm just going to draw it there, okay? Now, what do you see? If I zoom into it, okay, I'll zoom in there. What do you see? Well, I see that on this one, see how the axis of symmetry is negative 1.5. Below it, it has 1.5, okay? Also, at the roots here, see that's 2 and that's negative 5. It appears to be, and it actually is, that there are asymptotes there. So that's really, really good. So the asymptotes, all right, um, the asymptotes of the, the original function's roots are the original function's roots. I, that did not make sense, what I just said. Essentially, the roots of the original function, if we put it 1 over f of x, they become the asymptotes. Now, that's the most important thing that you can take away from here. So, what we're going to do is that we're just going to do a quick drawing of it. I've got it on Desmos, but I'm just going to do a quick drawing here. I'm going to put Desmos aside for the moment, so give me more space. So I know that at minus two, at two and minus five, there are what we call these asymptotes. I probably should have chosen a different color. That's not very clear. So let's go with that. So we've got an asymptote here and an asymptote here. I also know that my graph is going to go it's going to be like this, okay? And it has a minimum at the same point as our axis of symmetry. So our x value here is actually 1.5, okay? So that's up there. And then this next part is a bit trickier to predict, and we haven't taught you how to do it yet. But essentially, you substitute a few values into here, okay? and you get the idea of where it lies on the graph. The main point of this lesson is, if we have f of x, okay, when we draw its reciprocal, 1 over f of x, the roots become the asymptotes of the new graph. Hopefully that makes sense. Peace out.